very good afternoon my friends how are you I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading from extreme trader this is Salah speaking this video is gonna be different because I'm going to show you how we can apply Ichimoku in our day tradings now I have already explained how to use the Ichimoku along with uh, hit and run if you go to my channel uh, just scr scroll down to the latest video actually to the earliest videos and you can find this video here using Ichimoku for long-term trading followed by live trading using Ichimoku earning 37 pips and so other videos I think I have used Ichimoku but not so not so many of them that's why I decided that it's time to do more live trading using Ichimoku now I'm sure there are two questions in your mind first one is why using Ichimoku in the first place well Ichimoku actually is very easy and it's can, it can actually help you to, to identify and find the strong and best uh, support and resistance levels so easily and I will explain it in this video how can we spot and find the strong uh, support and resistance levels using Ichimoku the other question is why don't you yourself using it in the live trading videos of course the answer is I'm using it sometimes but actually it's like the difference between manual driving and auto driving when you are driving your car manual is more easier and you trust it more than auto uh, automatic driving that's why I really prefer to use my own uh, own, own analysis on the market to identify the support and resistance levels manually by drawing the lines rather than using a Chimoku the thing is I don't really need it I just know this strategy and I know it's helpful for the beginners but for myself I don't really need it because I'm already expert and I can draw and, um, and find the support and resistance levels by myself so again let's talking more action let's go now to the live trading so now the thing is I really don't need to explain everything about this strategy from the beginning if you wish to know what is the uh, rules of this strategy you can refer to the videos I showed you earlier now I will just try to find a setup I need to find if I am on a support level or a resistance level in the beginning so now I'm on the four hour chart and like I see right now that I am on a support level and let me draw the line let me just uh, change the line so it will be yellow it will be easier to see like that and we can see that Ichimo, uh, Chico Span is uh, having a sharp edge at the support level so this is indeed a strong support level now not only that but the candles are approaching uh, a higher level than this green cloud so now I need to switch to the 15 minute time frame so by switching to the 15 minute time frame I can see that I have here as well a sharp edge of the Chico Span and what we can see is we have already a support number one two and three now usually I don't enter the support number three but however checking the higher time frame we can see that I am already oh wait a minute this is indeed third attempt even on the four hour chart now how do we know that because this is a support and here a support and don't forget this one here this long tail here is actually an attempt on the four hour chart so you already have a support number one support two and support three uh, a lot of traders actually when they are applying hit and run they are ignoring or they are forgetting to check this long tail here it's actually important because it's representing a whole reversal meaning we had here a support already so it's important to count this one as well don't ignore it therefore this setup is not valid and I'm not going to trade it let's see here uh, this one is already late because we can see that we had here a resistance attempt number one two three and the market has already reversed even though I'm above that blue cloud still I cannot enter because right now my my entry will be way so much late I need to enter my trade at the very top of this resistance so let's check another setups this one is ranging right now the GBP and ZD it's really not on a support or resistance it's just now in a zigzag it's now in consolidation mode so that is not a type of setup you want to enter so let's keep searching what I'm looking for is I need to find myself if I'm on a support or resistance level now check this one out uh, for our chart pound JPY we can see that here we have a resistance has been breaking out 
by this bearish candles and right now this support as uh, this, uh, this resistance is about to become a new uh, support so it's really important now to switch to the 50 minute time frame and I need to rely on the Ichimoku now what we see here as per the Ichimoku rules this sharp edge of the Chico spam after the breakout is supposed to be uh, a previous sorry this was a previous resistance and we have here a new support approaching on the very same level and the problem here the Chico span is not edgy it's not sharp on the edge usually what I'm looking for is a shape like that when you see the Chico span is sharp like that at the edge that is what you really want but when you see it like this that is not the type I want to see but still uh, that is based on the Ichimoku style not only that but we are also now below the green the green cloud therefore I really think it's not safe to place any trade right here and you can tell actually by seeing the price action on the four hour chart this kind of price action usually indicating a bearish reversal so most likely what will gonna happen is the market will continue to fall more down until it hit this support here so you really don't have to place a trade whenever you see a, sh a sharp edge on the Ichimoku it's always important that you do some manual analysis so I'm just now checking the market to find a valid setup let's see this one here hmm. on, a, on the 4 hour chart we can see the market going down approaching a previous resistance that's interesting we need to see anything valid on the 15 minute time frame now we see something go looking good on the 4 hour chart switch now to the 50 minute time frame let's see if we can find something here so I will go now to the left and again what I'm looking for because this is a support I'm looking for buy so what I really need to find on the left is a Chico span with a previous resistance and it has this sharp edge at the top so let's uh, find something we have it right here look at that right here let me zoom in um, yeah this is the one here that is what I'm talking about this previous resistance you can see the Chico span is sharp on the edge just like that so it's indicating that here we had a previous strong resistance and we can tell that by seeing this resistance right here and now the market is approaching the very same level I'm talking about it's almost touching it uh, with only one pip away and I believe no wait wait a minute uh, 20 uh, it will be a good entry here wait for the candle to reach this level just yeah please please it's okay place the place the buy order now it's fine uh, now let me tell you where should we set our take profit our take profit will be of course at the next sharp edge which is this one right here because this sharp edge here is representing the nearest resistance as I told you uh, Ichimoku is very helpful for the beginners and the new traders because it's like a cheating style it's telling them it's like an autopilot system it's telling them where is the previous resistance or support and telling them also where is the nearest support or resistance so I'm going to set my take profit right on this level right here with almost 11 pips of profit $23 that should be really good and we can see the market already reversing on the very same level I mentioned that was a good deal so that is for the euro USD let's now move on trying to find something else uh, nothing here uh, okay let's see right now we are we are on a resistance level on the four hour chart on the USD CHF let's go to the 50 minute time frame uh, let's see the 15 minute time frame doesn't really seems promising because look at the Chico span we can see here that we had a resistance but the problem this resistance is not representing a strong level because this edge of the Chico span is not edge is not sharp at the edge not sharp at the top that's why I believe with this strong bear, uh, bullish uh, momentum perhaps it seems like the market is going to break this level and will continue to go more up so this setup for me is not really valid let's go on uh, USD JPY however is on a strong resistance right now it was and this is now on a previous support and the previous resistance as well now switch to the 15 minute time frame let's see hmm. 
let's see look at this chico span here do you see that this one right here this is a, sh a sharp edge of the chico span which was previously a support right here so we need to see the candles actually approaching this level with another attempt again before I place my sell order and again based on the chico span the same level if I place my trade here I should exit my trade at the next nearest chico span reversal or previous resistance which is right here but we can see the market already reversing uh, it already went all the way down here so this setup is actually not valid anymore uh, almost seven pips was wasted yeah uh, I spot this setup late but you can see how valid please just take a look yeah I did not enter it I'm late but look at it it's really valid uh, the setup was good and if I caught it I would have be have I would have been in profit right now look at it look at it it's, it went down all the way that is our missing pips here but it's okay I'm happy just just to see that my strategy actually works let's try to find something else um, so many attempts look at that cat CHF is now on a resistance level on the four hour chart let's go to the 50 minute time frame and let's see now the Chico span if we look at the left here right here where is the Chico span sharp edge on a resistance level is it here no it's not here it's actually right here so if you want to have your best entry your best shot will be waiting for the market to go a little bit more up to hit the same level retesting the same level creating the resistance number two and then you can place your sell order don't ever rush to find setups don't enter late entries or oh, sorry late trades this is a very late trade now you might tell me man come on place your trade sell already I tell you no sorry that is not my style I have learned through many years that to be safe in the market of Forex is always always be patient wait the setup if you missed one entry don't worry because you will find something else later there are millions of setups coming the market is here I'm here none of us going anywhere so it's okay yeah that is a missed entry but it's all right I'm still glad because I'm uh, sticking to my strategy and I'm not breaking any rules so that is how you be safe stick to the strategy don't forget that let's see I'm still looking for something useful we missed the Eurocad nothing right here approaching a support but doesn't really seem good I'm trying to find something valid now on the four hour chart mm, let's see right now we are on a resistance for the on the NZDCHF let's go to the 50 minute time frame and see it uh, okay the Chico span is telling us that there is not really valid setups right here because on the left I don't see any sharp edges of a previous resistance I just see this one here this one here and this one here but these are already on a support level we need to find a previous resistance that will keep its position as a, uh, as a resistance or a support as well but we don't see here any support at all that's why uh, this is not valid setup I need to switch now for our chart again and try to find something else now I cannot find anything at all to be honest so now I'm just making another round uh, just looking here and there hopefully I can find something let's see now we are I told you remember this one the pound GPY I told you it's going down indeed it went down as I told you it went down to the support level look, no, look, look at that look at the left do you see this sharp edge of the Chico span that is a valid entry right now is the right time to place the buy order on the GPP GP, uh, sorry GPP JPY allow me to explain the reason first of all looking at the left we can see that here we have a very strong sharp edge of the Chico span not only here but also here as well and uh, on the four hour chart go to the four hour chart we can see that let me go to the one hour chart it might be easier to see look at that we had here a previous resistance and we can see this candles moving up breaking this resistance and right here 
this week here representing a support number one and now the market is hitting on a support number two so I can expect a small reversal from this market now of course uh, you can use the Chico span to you to find the nearest support or resistance so look at the left right here where is the nearest support or resistance it is at where the edges of the Chico span is telling you just like that because if we look at the left we can see that here we had a support level on the uh, sorry we can see that we had here the Chico span is showing us as um, um, an edgy or sharp edge on a support level so meaning this is the nearest support to this candle or this entry right here so going to the 15 minute time frame I will set my tech profit to be on this level that would be six pips only twelve dollars six pips it's okay not big not big money but it's fine just to show you that the strategy works indeed and look at that we can already see the reversal happening notice something that my trade maybe a little bit entry but the candles has indeed went down touching the very same line I have drawn earlier nice nice very nice uh, our trades are going in profit look at that look at that look at the USD. the reversal is happening exactly at my entry level how accurate was that impressive really for those who are in underestimating this strategy I'm telling you please uh, look at it again take another look it's really really interesting and it can gain you a lot of profit so uh, let me now try to find something else let's see now the pound USD is approaching a support level now on the four hour chart I agree with you that we are actually on a third attempt of a support but still we can see here that we had a one uh, and a, just one sharp edge of the Chico span indicating that we had here really a strong support uh, support level so go to the 15 minute time frame oh my god that was a really good entry which I have missed look at that look at how beautiful is that the candles reversing exactly on the very same level of the previous Chico span uh, sharp edge and the market is already reversing I'm thinking to place a trade right now but I really don't want because um, this support level here is uh, suspicious actually I'm thinking that the market might actually go a little bit down to hit the previous support before going more up now the thing is I don't have a previous resistance of the Chico span to rely on and since I don't see it I cannot enter uh, place my trade at all it's gonna be risky look at it it's going down indeed so it might be a little bit risky to not follow the rules uh, let's just stick to the first and second attempt of the support or resistance and don't try to play any games here let's see now on the four hour chart I'm approaching this is a resistance number one and the market approaching a resistance number two interesting now on the four hour chart this seems interesting but let's go to the 15 minute time frame let's see yes indeed oh look at that damn it man this is where I wanted to draw look at that this is where I wanted to draw my line you look at that this we had here this sharp edge double sharp edges of the previous support the Chico span is showing it uh, to us and we can see how the market exactly reversed on this level exactly just kissed it and then reverse how accurate is that amazing really amazing we have missed three pips yeah three pips were missing by this uh, let's wait and see maybe the market will go a little bit more up again to retest this level and then I can place my sell order uh, I think I will wait for it a little bit because um, it seems like the market will go a little bit more up again to create another attempt so Mm, no this candle still have five minutes to the expiration but I think yes the reversal has already happened five pips already uh, I don't think so no uh, this will be late entry yeah indeed I missed a good one but it's fine since uh, it's just keep proving that my strategy really works and it's powerful 
and I'm glad to see this happening in this live trading video because I want to show you that this strategy you can rely on it if you are a beginner even if you are not a beginner if you you can use it just in your day trading style it will help you a lot if you have having trouble to spot the strongest support and resistance levels it's really helpful and I'm sure it's gonna save a lot of your time analyzing the market so we are approaching 18 minutes of this video it has been really long for no reason uh, allow me now to pause the recording until I find something else oh while recording uh, the GPP GPY has hit the tech profit and brought for us almost seven pips of profit it was really cool good trade uh, now the euro USD I think is approaching the target so far it's going in six pips and I'm waiting for it to hit the target of 11 pips very nice very interesting uh, allow me now to again pause the video because I just wanted to show you that the target has been hidden and I need to find the good trade to show you in this video I don't think I will just accept two trades uh, let me now pause the recording again and I'll be back to you my friends let me show you the setup approaching we can see here on the 15 minute time frame the pound USD is approaching this uh, support the pre sorry this previous resistance and we can see here that we already had a resistance number one but what I'm relying on is just this one here we had this previous resistance and the Chico span is showing a sharp edge indicating that this level is actually strong as a support and resistance not only that but we can see right here shit uh, one second we can see here this sharp edge as a previous support and the Chico span also confirming this level so it will be I think a good uh, trade to just place sell order here scalp the pound USD only for a few bucks I mean like for five pips maybe that will be fine because we're just scalping the market so I think I will just wait for the pound USD to hit this level before I place the sell order so now I will pause the, the recording until the pound hit this level allow me to show you the setup I found on the CAD CHF we can see here on the 15 minute time frame let me enter the trade now so I will not enter it late so we can see that here we had also a previous sharp edge on the Chico span from the Chimoku and we can see that this level was actually strong as a resistance and here also strong as a resistance as well so the market is reversing at this point especially we are seeing on the four hour chart that we are on a resistance level so most likely this is a good setup for sell we can see the candle trying to go up but I don't think it's good it will I think it will continue to fall more down now uh, since we are using that Shimoku let's see where is our next tech profit so it should be at the nearest also it should be right here because the Chico span is showing us a support level right here like that it's sharp edge here so this is a strong support as well so we can expect about uh, three pips only if I entered from the very top level I would expect about six pips yeah I'm late but that's fine actually let me check the four hour chart I think we can extend our tech profit level to be a little bit more down to this previous check span right here so my tech profit will be actually bigger uh, yes should be fine now I think by uh, 10 pips exactly so yeah this will this will be the three trades of the video so now we have the euro USD is still running and I believe it will continue to go more up and we are having the cat CHF so we just need to wait for it to reverse and go down so now let me pause the recording and I'll be back to you to show you what happened with these two trades so we can see right now the CAD CHF is almost approaching the level and to be safe I will close the trade now with $70 profit 9 pips of profit as well which was actually fantastic now we are only on the Euro USD we can see the Euro USD has went a little bit against me uh, that should be fine if it if it lose I will just uh, show you that we will close the trade with a loss and then we will find something else but so far uh, it's still good I think I don't believe the market will reverse uh, sorry I don't think the market will continue to go down at this point so now let me pause the recording again and I'll be back to you to show you what happened with the EURUSD okay we can see that the EURUSD is going down 
but still I will not close it with a loss because I need to see how this candle will close in what price action now to recover the losses I'm actually looking at the pound GP uh, sorry at the euro GPY and I can see here that we had a previous resistance represented by sharp Chico span level and the candle is exactly on this level right now so I'm going to place the buy option right now not only that but we can see in the past as well this Chico span level is having a really sharp edge at its bottom indicating that this was a strong support as well so this is a good trade so let me now set the take profit and of course the nearest Chico span level we can see to this entry is exactly right here and you can see that I am looking at this sharp edge here so let's see how many pips is that almost six pips uh, 11 dollars so we can actually recover some of the losses from the euro usd and we will end this video in a small profit but still it's a small profit because we are only scalping the market this is a scalping so you can keep doing this the whole day so by 20 minutes i can gain about 25 30 dollars if you think about it in three or four hours you can actually make more than hundred dollars so it will be really good profit and you can uh, end the day with only like two or three hours of work so again need I need now to pause the recording because um, we still have some time we have uh, three, uh, two minutes I believe one minute and 19 seconds for the closure of this candle and I, I'll be back to you guys when uh, the candle will close most likely we will close it with a loss but still don't decide anything because in the last 10 seconds you will see how the candle will start reacting this to this level so now let me pause the recording and I'll be back to you so now we are just uh, three one second and the candle closed like that uh, by seeing this kind of price action I believe we can expect a small reversal uh, only to this level here I think the candle will go a little bit more up four pips uh, ahead and then I will close this thread with a loss but the thing is I want to reduce the losses to the maximum so I will just now keep my eyes on this thread now I'm sure I will I will close it with a loss uh, we, I am I cannot guarantee you I cannot be sure that the candle will go a little bit more up above this level but for sure I can think or I can say that the candle will go a little bit more up retesting this previous uh, broken support and then will continue to go more down so my best chance to close this thread with the minimum losses is at this point here so no need to close it right now just wait a little bit yes go a little bit more up more I don't want to waste your time my friends I will pause again the recording and I will show you when I close this trade with the smallest uh, loss possible okay uh, I think this candle might be going down I cannot be sure I am just trying to show you the reality that when you lose a trade how to decide if the trade will close with a loss or not so to be safe I decided to close this trade with a loss of $14 so that is totally fine let's ignore it forget about it let's focus now on the other trade which is the euro GPY and it is also going against us with only only three pips that's totally fine uh, let me now try to recover the losses as much as possible and try to find some other setups uh, let's see I'm again on the 15 minute time frame only I want to prove to you that this strategy is really strong we can rely only on the 15 minute time frame uh, by itself this is actually strong okay let's see that that's Chico span showing here very sharp edge on the resistance and also it's right here so again it's here so you can see it and here this one I ignore it because it's not really sharp it's just like that that is not what I want so this seems to be a good trade for the pound GPY it's like two pips away from the target I believe I'm going to place we already traded the GP, GP, the pound GPY before but still I think it is really still valid and a good setup because this resistance is really strong it doesn't seem like the market will go below this level so I'm going to place the buy option exactly right here so we place the buy option and this time I'm going to extend my take profit to be at this level right here because here we can see that we had also a previous support now we can expect about 
21 dollars from the pound gpy we can recover the previous losses from the euro usd i want to tell you the euro usd it was actually a valid trade if only i did not get greedy because i do i wanted to take the euro usd to this level of the previous Shimoku, while actually this was the nearest level because here we had a small reversal as you can tell and the nearest resistance was actually right here that's why that Shimoku sometimes is really good and bad as well so by using manual analysis I could tell that this is here the nearest resistance but I just wanted to rely completely on the Shimoku and yeah the candles did not go all the way to this resistance as I wanted it to so however uh, no problem it is good let's see yes I believe I'm going to place the cell immediately for the USD CAD and allow me to explain the reason um, the USD CAD is approaching also a previous res a support we can see the Chimoko's uh, the sharp edge of the previous support is ex exactly right here and also here we can see a previous resistance so that Shimoku here is indicating that this level is strong as a support and a resistance as well even the manual analysis telling us that here we had a resistance uh, you can see the candle trying to go more up but I believe it will end going down and allow me to explain uh, to show you the target should be uh, at this level because here is the nearest uh, sharp edge of the Chico span. So we have now another three trades running. Now I will pause the recording and I'll be back to you to show you what ha what, what will gonna happen with these trades so we can end the video in just 30 minutes length. I just want to show you that we have here another trade for the Euro GPY and I had to take it. Sorry, but I had to because you can see that the Euro GPY went a little bit against my option, but however, we can see that here we have really strong support level and here it is represented by a support number one because this was the first support or uh, sorry the second support already we have here a support and here as well and I'm entering the third attempt yes it's risky but still I trust uh, the four hour chart to be honest four hour chart is showing that this was a support number one and here is a support number two especially that I'm approaching above a blue cloud so this seems to be a good setup and I think the market will reverse in the end and it's gonna hit the take profit so I will set the same take profit right here with $21 so the first one will be the first take profit is $11 and the second one is $21 yeah I really don't like to do that in the live trading but because this is my money this is my live trades I had to do it because I cannot just uh, let it go like that I had to take this opportunity and I had to show it to you so anyway again uh, I really don't want to make this video so long uh, let me now pause the recording and hopefully this time we will close the video after showing you the profits and you can see already the candle is reversing so now I believe we have good deals uh, running we can see this one also the, the USD CAD is reversing already uh, getting closer to the 7 pips target and the Euro GPY is also reversing uh, the, the pound GPY is also reversing so I believe in the end of this video we are going to end it with a good deal and good profits so let me now pause the recording and I'll be back to you soon my friends okay just want to show you uh, the pound JPY is about to hit the take profit it's reversing uh, it was on $17 but it's okay I will accept it $12 shit $10 of profit if it's fine it was 17 but that's fine no problem uh, we can wait now for the other trades however we can see that the euro pound is reversing I think it will continue reversing because of this hammer we can see uh, performed as a price action on the 15 minute time frame and for this one however it's going a little bit against us again uh, the USD CAD but don't rush to close anything we have to wait and see where can we expect the next the reversal so if it's going against me remember uh, guys I'm working on the f uh, 15 minute time frame so it's really expected for the market to go a little bit in against your direction before it goes in the right one so on the 15 minute time frame we can see now on the Chico span 
that we have here the preview or the nearest uh, edge sharp of the Chikospan. So we can expect now to sell again USDCAD right on this level. So what I will do is I will sell the USDCAD if it touches this level and seems like it will. And yes, exactly. The sell has been placed. We can expect a reversal at this point. Now what I will do is to recover the losses, I will set the take profit to be exactly at this point here with $11.07 pips. And this one I will just, I will just actually cancel it for the take profit from the previous trade. So I will just take uh, this trade here. I will accept the profit from this uh, reversal of almost 8 pips. And we can recover the losses from the uh, first trade. Now this is really practical. This is really nice because it shows you the reality of Forex that sometimes you will lose the trade. But what I'm trying to explain to you in this video is how to recover these losses and how we can actually deal uh, or what you can do when you are losing a trade. What is the things you can do to recover the losses? That is more important th than just showing you the profits uh, that I'm making. Yes, sometimes you will lose and here I'm showing you what can you do in case you lost money. So you can always recover and that is the beautiful thing about Forex. Don't be afraid, don't panic when you lose a trade. Always remember you can recover. The video is more than 35 minutes but it's okay as long as you will learn a lot from it. So now let me pause the recording and I'll be back to you to show you what will gonna happen. And we can see it approaching the tech profit and the tech profit has been hidden and now the losses are being recovered. So this is the USD CAD. I'm going to close it with zero profit. So as by, uh, by that, I showed you that we can always recover the losses. Please, my friends, if you see the trade going against you, don't rush to close it with a loss. Be patient. Just wait and find where can you expect the nearest reversal. Chico Span helped me right here to know that here this level is we can see a previous support and the Chico Span is uh, on a sharp edge indicating that this level is strong. Look at it, it's still going down. So I could have closed the video or sorry the trade with with the even small profit but still I'm happy because that is the way I'm trading. It is always making me uh, safe and ending the day with the profit thankfully. So all the losses has been recovered and right now we are just waiting for the Euro GPY to, fa to reverse and go a little bit more up for almost 11 pips. Now allow me to finally or for the last time, pause the recording and I'll be back to you to show you what happened with the Euro Pound, uh, Euro GPY. Now we can see finally the, the Euro GPY is reversing. I'm going to close it right now with good profit. I think that is fine because maybe the Euro GPY won't reverse more than that. So we can close this video now with this small profit. But I just wanted to show you the way to use the Chico Span of the, Chico, of the Chimoko in your day trading. Uh, please, my friends, again, I'm telling you, if you want to understand what I did in this video, please refer again to my channel to watch all the Ch Chimoko videos. Look at the Euro GPY is going up again now. <laughs> it's all right. Anyway, I will be doing more Chimoko videos because we have done enough 20 pips a day and hit and run. And I think it is time now to focus again for on the Chimoko strategy because it's the best for the beginners. And wait for me, my friends. I will be back with more videos showing you how to use the Shimoku in your day trading. So again, uh, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.